I'm joined today by Eric Frankel, analyst at Green Street Advisors. Good morning, Eric. Hi, thanks for having me. So Eric, fundamentals appear to be steady across all commercial property types, but we've seen industrial and warehouse in particular accelerating. What's driving that trend? So there's two primary components of industrial warehouse demand. It's trade and consumption. And so trade has been fairly steady over the last several years, and consumption has too, but the way we've consumed goods has changed a lot. And a lot of that's due to e-commerce. And so what, we, what Green Street has seen the last several years is that the amount of warehouse square footage that's required to to uh, deliver goods via e-commerce is a lot greater than standard bricks and mortar. And so we've seen demand increase roughly 20% uh, over the last several years to probably 30 to 40% this year as a result of e-commerce having such a more prominent impact on supply chains. And how are real estate investors positioning themselves to capitalize on these trends? Are they buying assets, developing assets? What's, what are you seeing? Well, so fundamentals have gradually improved in the last several years, and so the amount of vacant space has commensurately declined as well. Um, and so during the early part of the cycle, you saw a lot of investors, institutional investors and REITs, buy a lot of larger portfolios, um, or, and buy a lot of single assets too, with the anticipation that market rents would have generally improved. And we've certainly seen that. Um, in the last couple of years, we've seen some really large portfolios traded, and we've seen a lot of international investors and a lot of and a lot of uh, domestic investors as well uh, buy buy, uh, buy properties. Um, over the last couple of years, I think the amount of available product has gone down, and market and and market rents are as high as they pretty much ever have been, and vacancy rates are at their lowest levels in the last 15 years as well. And so you're seeing a lot of institutional investors trying to find a way to uh, get get some product in the ground and start development. And so you know that could be a, a dangerous sign for the market, but to, to, uh, to date, demand has been so good that there's been literally no problem with uh, all supply getting absorbed. So that's what all the, a lot of investors seem to be focused on today. And how about REITs in particular? How are they positioning themselves? So they're a little bit more selective. So last cycle, they were pretty aggressive on the development side in between 2005 and 2007, and they are a lot more conservative this cycle, a lot more cautious and more selective about what locations they want to be in the long term. So e-commerce is disproportionately impacted. We've, uh, Green Street has come to the conclusion that uh, e-commerce is going to disproportionately impact demand in areas with large populations. And so that's where the REITs have generally con been concentrating their, their time in trying to find good investment opportunities. And so you're seeing, a lot of, uh, you're seeing a lot of investment in large markets like Dallas, Chicago, and some coastal markets as well. And so the REITs, their development pipelines aren't literally as big in, as, as they are in 2007. They are actually a lot more profitable. And looking forward, do you see any risks that could curtail demand for industrial? Um, sure. So, you know, one for sure is that e-commerce is it's such a powerful trend, but there is a thought at some point in time that some consolidation occurs in, in that segment, whether it's Amazon taking everyone's business or it's uh, or everyone realizes they have enough warehouse space to, 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 uh, to service sales and they don't grow as quickly as they did for the last several years. Um, and the other is obviously, you know, the, uh, the, the new uh, president, uh, presidential administration, you know, global trade is, a, is, still, a, is, is still a pretty pretty meaningful demand driver. And there are some questions in terms of, you know, if there's any protectionist measures instituted in the United States and what impact that has on trade in the future. Great. Well, thanks very much, Eric. Thank you for having me. And for more news on REIT World 2016, be sure to visit REIT.com.